Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, select this one layer and two, three, let's go to solo and go to window. Let's open animation comes as three. If you have not animation comes as three, I will add link on the description below you can use. Let's click for open. And right now, let's first select the layer one, go to pen behind and move the anchor point down. Glycation tool and select layer two. Move the anchor point again here and glycation tool and layer three. Let's move the anchor point like this glycation tool and move to back like this so in this time select these three layers and go to starter preset to the layer let's use overshot scale from anchor point click in and let's preview animation okay this very speedily let's select these marks and move to right for more slow animation let's preview again okay not bad and select the layer 2 let's move to right and layer 3 move to right for step by step animation okay pretty good and for add loop animation select these three layers again go to browse let's open fx to the layers and here okay i will use Cousin rotate let's click apply let's see okay this very speedily Let's change intensity here 10. Let's see. Okay, not bad. And right now, let's unsolo these layers and select this shape layer. Again, let's use overshot scale. Click in and move to right mark. And let's see. Nice. I like it. So, select these layers. And let's enable title action save and move to the left here or here. Okay. And go to text. Let's write text. Clusation tool and go to color change to white. Okay. Change font size. Okay. Not bad. And let's hold control, double click pen behind the icon for move to anchor point center, clearization tool. And right now let's create other text layers. Select first text, let's control D for duplicate and move to down. Let's write photography and select this text, control D and move to down and change text business. And clearization tool, change font size. So in this time, let's change name. This is first text and this second and this three. And select this layer two. Let's put here and layer three also put here. So in this time, let's go to layer new and null object. And let's move the anchor point center. Hold control, double click here, clearization tool and move to like this select these three text layers link to null object select null change name text control and select text control let's go to here and press p let's create new passing keyframe move to right and go to fave keyframes and move to left select keyframes make easies or click f9 let's see okay so select keyframes go to graph editor and Let's select keyframes, move to the left for more smooth animation. And back to keyframes, select last keyframe, move to right. Okay, go to graph editor and select first keyframe, move to the left. Nice. And so in this time, select these layer two and three, move to right. Let's see. Okay, and let's back to animation comes as three again, select first text and let's open text layer animate characters and let's use overshot scale okay click in let's see 
Nice. So let's go to FX Presets, search FX Drop Shadow. Select Drop Shadow, let's use Text 1. And change some settings. Okay, pretty good. And in this time, select these marketing layers. Let's see. And let's press P and create new Python keyframe. Go to Fave keyframes and move to the left. Select keyframes, make easies, go to graph editor and select this graph. Let's make smooth animation. Let's see. Okay, back to keyframes. Select two keyframes, move to left for more speed animation. Move to left more. Okay, so in this time, select this null object and create new Python keyframe. Go to here and move to the left and go to graph editor select this graph make smooth animation okay back to two frames let's see timing select this two frame move to right move to left more okay that's good and right now let's select this layer 2 and move to here let's see okay and in this time select this layer one go to edit and split layer and delete nice very good also we can use motion blur for better transition nice very good so let's turn off motion blur and in this time, let's select these marketing layers, close settings, and also background layer. And let's press T and create opacity keyframe. Go to here and change zero. Select keyframes, make easies. Okay, select keyframe. Last keyframe, move to right. And this. Move to right like this. Nice. And select this layer 3. Let's move to right for now. And select photography layers. Let's see. Okay, with shape layer. Move to right. Okay, again, let's select these layers. Photography 1. And move the anchor point here. And layer 2, layer 1. Okay, this is already down and select these layers and back to animation comes as 3 open to the layer and select overshot scale from anchor point click in and let's move to right this marks for slow animation and select layer 2 move to right and layer 3 move to right and select 3 layers move to right and select all these layers with shape layer Let's move to right like this. Okay, so in this time we can use like this and select background layer. Let's right mouse and go to here, fit to comp for full screen. Let's see. Nice, very good. And select these photography one, two, three layers. Back to animation comes as three. Go to browse and open effect to the layers and use Cajun rotate click apply and don't fight the chain in testy 15. let's see nice very good and in this time select this text control and let's create new passing keyframe go to here and move to right Select this layer 3, let's put here, and select layer 2, go to edit and split layer, and delete. Okay, and right now, let's see timing. Okay, select two frames, go to graph editor and select this graph. Let's make graph 
smooth nice very good back to two frames and let's see timing again select these photography layers and press p let's create new person two frame go to here and move to right select two frames make easies go to graph editor and select these graphs make smooth animation let's see okay back to two frames and let's see timing Select this last shift frame, move right a little bit. Nice, very good. Select this photography background and let's press T and create new opacity shift frame. Go to here, change zero and make shift frames easy. And select these layers. Let's close settings. Let's see. Nice and select this business background right mouse again go to fit to comp select this business one two three layers and go to solo select this and move the anchor point down and this move the anchor point down and this move to down here equalization tool and unsolo so back to animation comes 3 and select these four layers and let's use overshot scale from anchor point click in and back to browse and let's unsolo business 4 select only three business layers go to browse and use cursion rotate click apply and change intensity 10 and select these layers move to right it's timing okay and let's move to here layers and business shape layer 4 let's put here and don't forget to add also anchor point for this overshot scale click in and move to marks like this okay and select shape layer move to behind of layers and select business 2 move to right business 3 and business 4 so guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.